Hi, my name is Morgan Rauscher, and I sculpted this artwork out of recycled bicycle components and used a chainsaw so that you could sculpt things out of wood using video game controllers. I'm going to take you through a short video series of how I made this, and uh, hope you enjoy. In this video, I'm going to show you how I put together the container for the robot and how it keeps people safe from the chainsaw that I've installed inside of it. I started out by bending 3 quarter inch angle arm in the metal shop. When bending several pieces that need to be the same shape, I like to lay them all out on the floor to compare them. Next up, I cut several sections of half inch square tubing. Then I welded together the square tubing with the bent angle iron. When welded together, these components formed sections of a steel cage. Here you can see the steel sections together. Later on in this video, I'll show you how these sections make up the core components of the steel frame. But first, I'm back at the shop. I used a table saw to cut a clear protective barrier out of a very strong material called polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is commonly used in impact resistive barriers like safety goggles. In order to adhere the polycarbonate sheet to the steel frame structure, I used a neat little hack, Velcro. I lined the rim of the frame with one side of the Velcro strip, and I used a spoon to smooth out the velcro and make sure that it's stuck. Then I shaved off the excess velcro using a knife. Then I pressed the polycarbonate and the steel frame together. Next, I used a sawzall to cut rounded sections out of plywood sheets. These rounded sheets would be used for the floor and roof of the robotic container. All that was left was to build the frame that would connect all of the pieces together. For this, I used 4x4 studs that were fastened to the floor using L brackets. And I also used 2x4 cross beams for a triangular roof support. After installing the rounded roof plank, I was ready to finish up the frame. This involved installing the upper steel cage components and applying the polycarbonate protective shield. The interior is easily accessible because of the Velcro design. Just for safety, I added another layer of polycarbonate exterior shield. And once everything was finally fully installed, time to remove the manufacturer's polycarbonate film and to give the robot its new and safe home. Next up in this video series, find out how I made the robotic arm move. Learn about the controls, sensors, and chainsaw at the end of the robotic arm and get a preview of the robot in action at a creative electronics exhibition. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video.